What's up, y'all? Anna Reno checking in. Haven't done a book review in a while. Um, one of my subscribers said, dude, where's the, what, what's up with the book reviews? How about another one? So, all right. Here you go. <clears throat> James Michener. Book called Hawaii. It's, uh, as you can see, I mean, look, that's, that's a book. Mine is pretty jacked up. Because uh, if you're going to tackle Michener, it takes a long time. I mean, let's look at some of his other books here. Look at Texas. This is even longer than, that's even longer than Hawaii. Alaska, I did a review on this. It's a wonderful book. Look, it's taped together because when you have a Michener book, um, you're going to have it for a while. You're going to be reading a long time. Uh, these aren't books that you could just leaf through in a weekend and, and get. You really have to dive into them. Um, it takes a lot of focus. But I love Michener. I love his writing. I love the way he tells a story. I love the way he puts you in the shoes of the characters. Uh, I just like the idea. A lot of Michener books are, are, are kind of like this. He starts like at the beginning of time. And then he picks a location, Hawaii, Texas, Alaska, Chesapeake, you know, whatever. And he, and he fully explores that the timeline from the beginning of time to present time modern society and he is a history um like a, he's like a historian of, of some kind uh he knows history better than anybody so although these books are fiction they're rooted in a lot of history and so you're thinking wow i bet that is kind of how things shook out he connects dots from the facts we know about history uh, and uses his characters to fill in what he thinks probably happened. And a lot of times I agree with him. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of times I think, wow, that's probably what went down, you know. So uh, this book was the first Michener I ever read. I read Caravans. I read Alaska. Um, I read a lot of uh, his travel book. I forget what it's called. The world is my home, I think. Um, but I, I just love the way the guy writes. It's really difficult for me to verbalize it. But they're not difficult reads. You don't have to really think that, oh, this is, I'm going to need uh, charts and graphs and I'm going to need to figure shit out and what, you know, uh, I don't understand these big words and this weird language from the old timey dialogue uh no this is this is modern modern book uh well written i think if you haven't read any michener hawaii is maybe a good place to start even though it is something that you're gonna you're really gonna have to be patient with yeah i i highly recommend hawaii i thought it was a good book i think it's a good read i'm not going to give you too many spoilers but uh i especially liked the uh, part where the tribe goes from the one island to, to the island of Hawaii, how they populate it. I thought that was really well done. And even towards the end, now I've been to Hawaii, and it's breathtaking. Like, that's not bullshit. People that tell you, oh, Hawaii is breathtaking. No, it is. Like, it's, it's almost, I was talking about it on this radio interview I did this morning. Um, I stepped out on the beach of Waikiki, and it didn't even seem real. Like, the colors, the, uh, the beauty of it, the sand, the sea. Like, it, it was, uh, I thought, am I dreaming? Is this a dream? No place can be this beautiful. And I've been all over the world. But Hawaii is definitely a special place. And I think the writing of James Michener, if you can't get to Hawaii, it is a very expensive place. Um, if you can't go to Hawaii, then uh, maybe reading this book is the second best thing. 
James Michener, I think, really captures the beauty of Hawaii and really shows you why it's such a special, special place on this planet. There's no place like Hawaii. And, uh, you know, I know because I've been there and I know because I read this book. I know just how special of a place it is. James Michener, Hawaii. Go ahead and tackle it. It's a good book. I recommend it.